and welcome back we're gonna jump into chapter five two now so go ahead and jump in and let's jump in so reload if you can if you want to i'm gonna get a quick heal and i'm gonna switch over to my tmp because this next room is a tight quartered corner so you are at a strong disadvantage here so what i want to do is set up an advantage for myself as quick as possible you so we definitely want to let him get close and knock him back then we'll burn them when they fall down we'll go over some criticals like that and like that and that should clear out this room once you are clear of there let's head to the end again grab your TMP this will be that radio, or the room that looks kind of like a radio control room. Take care of the crossbowman first. He's going to be your biggest threat. As he has a much better angle than you do. Okay, let's go for a headshot. Take him out. And we'll take him out. Okay, once the room is empty, if they've dropped anything, go ahead and grab that. And now I'm going to switch again back to my TMP. And we're going to activate the button on the wall. So turn around. Take out these guys. And then take out your crossbow. But be quick about it. Because again, the advantage they have is, a, is great. Again, take anything that they drop. And then we're going to head to the trash chutes. So I'm going to pull out my rifle. Because we have two Iron Maidens to fight. Each will be worth 20,000, so they are very worth it, and they're both very easy to fight. So you jump down, actually, Ashley actually lands on the Iron Maiden, so she's laying on it. Crap. I accidentally double tapped. Okay, so just open the door and then flip the lever on the other side to be the most safe. And then you can do it again at the other door. Then just take your time picking off their parasites. Now the parasite on the back can actually be gotten if you shoot it in the legs. So essentially it takes the same amount of bullets because to shoot it in the leg and then shoot it in the parasite would take two shots and it only takes two shots more. The only reason that would be an advantage is if you didn't have the exclusive on the rifle. So if you'd gotten the semi-automatic then you wouldn't have 30 power and you definitely want to go after your parasites. Because we have the 30 power, we don't have to worry about that. Because we already have enough power just to knock it down. And the same number of shots. Damn it. Well, that's one of my extra shots. He sure does quiver a lot. Okay. Okay, and one more. Right in the parasite. Okay. Oh! Ah, I guess I'd only hit him one other time. Yep, that's right. I thought I'd gotten him twice there at the start. Okay, so grab the money, and then we'll push this red card at the end. Okay. And then grab your shotgun for this next little room. A big guy with a hammer is going to be right off the bat. So if you can charge him and get right in his face... Then you can start taking care of him a lot faster. Okay. Then you want to loot what was in the barrels. And now what we're going to do in this next area is we're going to combine it. <laughs> a flash grenade and a regular grenade to take out a whole group. So what you want to do is you want to jump down. There's a gate here. Ashley will, re will remark on it being a gate. Those guys are going to have the strongest advantage on you that they are ever going to have. Because they spawn around you. In my opinion, it's a bunch of crap. 
Okay, so what you need to do is very quickly run into here because we need to get Ashley on that lever as fast as possible so that Leon can come back out here and become the target. Because you definitely want Leon to be your target. Okay, so we have two Plaga and a big guy. That's no problem, because we can just do that. And go ahead and make another full heal. And while that big guy is st stunned, because they're going to jump down from up top. Or they're just going to be a pain in the ass and throw down on you. Yeah, they're just going to be dicks and throw down. Okay, so Ashley got the door. Only stun these guys if you can. Come on, is he going to drop anything? Good. Okay. Only because I want that ammo and we might as well pick up the stuff on the way. But run through the door as fast as you can. Because it gets you out of there. Okay, so tell wait. Ashley to wait. Oh, there we go. He's just going to come after us. Good. Okay. So that regenerator is pretty close as well. Which, as you know, I'm not a huge fan of because they have a much better advantage. If you tell Ashley to wait, she will be safe this whole time. So you don't have to worry about her kicking through doors or anything. So just tell her to, to stick back. Because we can take out another regenerator without her being in any danger. Okay. So, as like before, pull out something you have some ammo for, give him a warning shot, switch back. Okay, didn't need to do that. It actually only looks like he has two parasites. So that first shot might have actually taken out a gut and a parasite. Follow me. So then you can have Ashley follow you. If she catches up to you quick enough, you can tell her to wait there. Because that lever won't do anything. It'll say that the power is disengaged. So what we need to do is activate the power in here. It'll only open the gate halfway. So then what we need to do is come back. Follow me. Tell her to follow you. And have her go underneath. Leave it to me, Leon. Okay. So while she's out being Detective Ashley, I'm gonna get set up for the next part. Okay, so go ahead and grab your yellow herb. And through this door is a merchant. So if you need any upgrades, I recommend doing that. So there's another full heal. Welcome. I'm gonna give him a talk to him to see if he can help me what out with my riot gun. Like, what are you selling? To go ahead and see if we can get that exclusive. Okay, so I have nothing what extra to sell. Hmm. I could max out the power. How am I doing? I have 12 buying? shots in it right now. <laughs> so I'll buy firepower. Because there's not really a good boss to buy a rocket launcher for anymore. I guess we could buy one for it. Wait. But we don't need to. And when it lines up in the middle. So, now. Kind of try to gauge it about a s half a second beforehand. Because what that'll do is when they pull it, it'll be right in the middle. So when Leon hops in, this is going to start. Ashley magically knows how to drive this thing, and all we need to do is defend it. I recommend pointing just straight back the whole time. Everything is going to come from you this direction until the very end with a truck, which you can't really miss that. It shows you it coming. So you should hear him here, and then Ashley will remark, they're behind us. Yeah. If you can, wait till a lot of them have jumped in. So, like, there's three. There's another three. That other guy will catch up here. No time. Anything that falls off the cart, 
you cannot recover. So if any ammo falls, sorry, it's lost to the ages. That's four. I think that was six. So like I say, just keep your shotgun at the ready, keep it reloaded. The truck is about to come up when you start getting to these gas tanks. So the truck should be coming around the corner now. I'm a little concerned to be low on TMP ammo. When it catches on fire, you're done. I still like to fire at it just because I, I always worry, but I know it's done. But. Okay. Take care of those three. One, two, can you let your friend catch up, please? Okay. And get your TMP again. Shoot for the grill, and when it catches on fire is when you're done. Okay. So this part's kind of a pain, because we have to defend Ashley from the top, and we have to go flip, flip a lever. Okay, when you can jump out, go ahead and do that. And then she mentions going to get that. I'm going to try something here with the rifle, because I want to try to get a piercing shot. Because a couple guys here are going to be straight in a row. Okay, because that's a little bit faster feeling than when I use my shotgun in the corner there. Okay, so just go ahead and flip that lever. And then run back to Ashley as fast as you can. Because they're going to start jumping down at her. And if they hit her, she's dead. So get back as fast as you can. But be careful not to shoot at her either. Because if you shoot at Ashley and you hit her, you will kill her. So she is a mess. In this next part, a couple guys are going to be up top in front of you. You don't have to shoot at them, but if you do shoot at them and knock them down, you'll get them in one shot instead of waiting for them to jump. So they're going to be up on these catwalks. So it's kind of like the gondola. That if you can go ahead and hit them, then you can get rid of them. But be careful, because guys will come up behind you as well. Okay, so same deal. Just shoot out the back. Wait for him if you can. Okay, because I've got two of them, I'm going to go ahead and just flash grenade them. Oh my god. Thank you. That could have ended poorly because that guy got behind me. Okay, so this is where that truck will come from. So if you've got TMP ammo, go ahead and reload that. Aim through this door because nobody should come up behind you. Unless you missed a guy. But the truck is super easy. Same deal, once you catch it on fire like that, you're done. Ashley will lift the bulldozer up and knock it out of the way. And that's the end right there with, with the bulldozer. So we can't go back that way because now we're stuck in this building. So just press through the door at the end. And we'll come across another merchant. So there's a couple things to get in here. There's 5,000 there. There's a grenade on the other side. And TMP ammo right there. So let's go ahead and give that a reload. Now, because we don't have anything really to sell, there's no reason to really talk to the merchant. But you've got your second stone there. So, like I say, just in case you can start combining so that you don't accidentally sell anything. But then just walk through the doors here. And we get to meet... Sadler again.
And that'll be the end of 5-2. So 5-3 starts off with a fun little area right into a knife fight. And then we should pretty quickly get into the fight with it. And when I say it, you'll know exactly what I mean when you see it. Because it is an abomination. But until then, this has been The Humble Guy. And enjoy. Enjoy.